Emerald Warriors 2. My sister actually got that game. She jumped on it. Dude, I love Zelda games. So that took a long time loading, but oh well. <laughs> the Father of Dragons. Wow. Technically, this is a second, like, video for this guy, I guess, but whatever, I wanted to record my first go at this, and I was stupid enough to try and do it by myself, and it worked, so whatever. <laughs> I don't care about it. Uh, now we're going to do it with more people that have not actually fought this yet, and one person who has, because, yeah. Cal confirm cheater back ban, please. This cutscene is just ridiculously cool. <laughs> this would be one of the few cutscenes that if people didn't skip it, I wouldn't get as mad at them, you know? <laughs> just because it actually is really, really good. I've actually never watched it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can make eclipses, bitch. What now? Heard you been fucking up my boys. <laughs> Thought I wouldn't find out. Unfortunately, the actual fight itself I think is a little bit easier than I expected, but like it can still kill you, it's just it, he doesn't do quite the same sort of damage that Crimson does, so I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's just me. What you do need to do at the start, though, is you need to run straight away. <laughs> because, yeah, you will get wrecked if you don't. Get Shrek, nerd. Pretty much. Now, I'm actually running without... I'm actually okay, running without any dash juice. Uh, not dash juice. I'm running without energy drinks here, because I'm just going to use Mega Dash Juice to get my, uh, my stuff back here. I'm having a really colossally annoying time trying to get my essences out. I'm usually pretty good at getting my essences against this guy, but this time I'm oh, just having have more issues than I should be. There we go. Now probably the trickiest thing about this guy is when he goes into rage mode and then his uh, he gets like Kirin armor, which is really annoying. It extends to the, his lower body, but even though it looks like it should just be his chest. It's kind of annoying, but... The head is Will by... You stop hiding? <laughs> the head is by <laughs> far <laughs> the best place to hit, though. Especially if you're using Dragon Element. Which is why, hopefully, this will be okay. Fatalis is one of the very few monsters that actually has potentially unwinnable mount, uh, mount situations, though. It's a lot easier if you've got high grade airplugs because sometimes he. I've seen him do four rolls in a row and then flash at you, which is just ridiculous. So you really do need to be careful about that. And there goes his eye straight away. Uh, the eye. Like, the head break is one of the most graphic in the game, actually, in that way, because it really looks like you fucked it up rather than... Oh yeah, so this is the other main difference from the, uh, from the previous fights. Okay, last time I got sassy and I tried to just stand still and only evade roll them. That didn't work out so well. I imagine <laughs> it would. It's not too bad normally, I was kind of surrounded by like three or four of them there. It's not usually too bad to deal with, but you do have to make sure that you don't run into other people who are trying to dodge them, because then you're more likely to get hit. Alright, so now the rage mode comes in. I imagine this is still fine for you, Mr. Gunner, because... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't ever notice the difference. Yeah. I like for him to get in the range of the, the range of the Dragonator, though. That'd be cool. But basically, this is an excuse for me to just spam mount attacks because that's that lets me actually reach a point where I can hit it. You know. Oh, 
Or you can get it. Got him. <laughs> that works. Uh, this place also does have cannons and stuff that you can use, which is kind of neat, but it's like, I don't know, it's not the greatest of things to try and go for. Uh, the ballistas are available as well, there's ammo in that corner where Grash is at the moment. And uh, they can be kind of neat too. But... I find them to be super obscure in their placing, so yeah, I don't like Yeah, and they don't, they don't really give you a lot of ammo either, so... There is one. There is one thing which I guess I'll quickly show. Uh, there is one thing over here. Uh, this, which gives you lots of ammo, but the boxes tend to only give you about three. There you go, Dragonator, and that broke something too. Yeah, good. So, I don't have exact numbers on Fatalis in terms of what vulnerability he has to stuff, but apparently his head is the weakest uh, element in the entire game, like to Dragon. But Ping's decks didn't give me any numbers for any of the Fatalises when I looked at them earlier, and uh, Kiraniko is remarkably unreliable for stuff like that. I apparently lost the ability to move there but on my circle bat lost griff on it oh well uh, smoke bomb in the middle yeah that's what I was gonna look at doing myself also I now have my gloves off uh, which is now it's going to stay around because spirit uh, I only have the gloves off plus one on this set because it's literally the only other thing I can use with my slots, and it requires a two slot weapon, so it's not exactly something I would normally want, but there's no other use for those slots, so I don't really see it as a bad thing. Hi, how are you? Now, just like the other, just like other Fatalis, its, uh, it's tail is pretty much impervious to damage, so you always bounce off it, there's never any, uh, any benefit to doing it, and unlike Crimson, it doesn't... Oh, hello! <laughs> That's what I get for spamming mount stacks. Um, unlike Crimson, there's never... Oh, I shouldn't have used my max potion then. Oh, well, I'll just combine it. I forgot that uh, Grash is carrying like 23 Life Powder here or something, basically. Actually, that was my Life Powder. Oh, oh okay. shit. Well, regardless. I just hate them, sorry. Oh, there yeah. You go. Oh, so I don't have all my stamina to start this off, though. I'm running on a slightly low bar, which might be a problem, but if he keeps just doing that, I'll be alright. Yeah, I should be fine with this man. He was trying for the chain rolls, though. So get off. Uh, he's gonna get up again in a sec, so I'll just use my dash juice now, and then try and sharpen him as well. I did eat polishers, so I did get my sharpen off there, which is good. Yeah, his, his thunder breath is not too dissimilar to Crimson's uh, fire like blast shot there. Blast breath. Yeah, but it's it can be kind of tricky to get around. I usually f oh I didn't get my red essence first. I usually find that I do get hit by it if uh, if I'm in the middle of it. Unless I can panic dive quickly. It also sometimes arcs in weird ways. I don't quite understand how it goes uh, or where it goes all the time. It's it's a bit bizarre. Like I swear I've had it almost boomerang around me <laughs> at one point. Ah, oh, it's got my essence. Oh. 
<laughs> I thought Ouch. that was simple. You alright? Look out. Super fun. Super freaking lightning red. Yeah, I'm fine. I just. I seen that one coming from a mile away, so I just. Yeah. Run away. Oh, ouch! I did not Snipe. realize that was going for me. <laughs> Couldn't really see it from there, so. Ah. Oh, I evaded into that one. Rip. Okay, I have my dash. Man, every time you get the mount on him, his reach is down. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay, so just the two rolls and then that's fine. I can get that really easily. I actually hit the neck instead, you know. The one thing I'm not so keen on the Insect Blade for is that it's a little bit less accurate than stuff like the Lance in terms of uh, hitting minor weak spots, but <clears throat> there you go. Not is Damn. not an especially difficult fight compared to some of the stuff, but he is in a really awkward spot for getting all the cards here at hand. And we might be able to roll around this in here, but yeah, three carving spots. I prefer starting at the head and then just rolling from there because a couple of rolls will get you to the other carve spots, but it's not really necessary. If you, it's uh, one roll. If you do a Vade Extender. Well, yeah, but I don't have a Vade Extender, so. Just so you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, Hardhorn from the body. Yep, okay. yep, yep. Always the best. <laughs> so this guy has a lot of really, really good weapons. There's only a couple that I don't think are that great, and apparently even the bow is decent, which I thought was like the worst weapon ever. But you do need to use like. Power coats and or get skills to use power coats and stuff on it because it can only use paint coats naturally. It's like what the hell? <laughs> but supposedly <laughs> it's actually pretty decent for if you can if you need the dragon damage. So I don't know. Uh, really, I think it's only that and the great sword that I'm not particularly fond on. I suppose the hunting horn, depending on what sort of songs you like. It's not the greatest song selection, but it's still not unusable. It's got a couple of good ones. Not bad prevention is really good, and I think it had... Uh, it's got melody effect extent. I think it had attack up large, so... Could still be alright. It's like a support horn for like horns, you know? Yeah. And I think that not bad prevention would be really nice, actually, for uh, for making people not kill each other, because you know, yeah, lots and lots of hundred rank points for that one as well. And rank four fifty six. Yep. That's kind of kind of funny. Yeah, I jumped to three hundred three off of that hunt. That uh, hunt. <laughs> 